Hi, we've booted up our virtual machine again, and um, we are going to look at the screen resolution. So we are on KeyMU, uh, it's called, I hope it's pronounced it correctly, and we have a virtual machine up and running, that's Arclinx D, and we have installed Mate, that's why it looks like this. This is the look of a phase five Arch Linux, and then choose your desktop installing. Well, Mate with Kaga as the file manager and so on. The thing is the resolution. So can you change the resolution on this machine? Yes, you can. You have the personal look and feel. Where are you? Hardware, a render. Because this place, that's the thing that's known to this system. This place can change it as well. Okay, let's try it out. Apply. And okay, fine, super, it changes. So that's one thing to do. But I want also to change you, uh, to show you this guy, which is a render because um, it's one of those things that's always around and on tiling window manager which we are actually on control T this is Q tile so tiling window manager it sometimes is difficult to set our resolution and um, that's how you can change it you can say let's go and have a look at this menu in a render virtual one active primary resolution and choose the button you like there's even a script in, in Qtile, if this reference that I need, 1920 on 1080, if that's not there, that, to create it yourself in, um, well, in the commands, really, okay, again, a script, but it will be fixed afterwards. And you have a command of, um, of a resolution of 1920 on 1080, which, by the way, I have not selected in here. Uh, you've, saw, you've seen it, but you can do so here, save as, and you give it the name Eric or something, I don't know, something obvious. And then you go to Eric's home. Nice, right? Control H. Screen layout, Eric SH. It creates something. Open with Pluma. A little bit bigger. And this thing should be popped in somewhere in a script that starts at boot. Some, some place where you need it, depending on the with tiling window manager you put it in a specific file but this is just a copy paste you can copy paste right but things are not needed there are things in here i see already off 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 there is no fourth screen there's no third screen there's no second screen Woo. control z and control z control z and the rotate well rotate normal is not needed either but if you keep these guys that's enough so we have an output on a virtual one primary mode that one and position zero zero that's it and rotate don't rotate portrait or landscape Just keep it normal right so that's it what uh, you need to copy paste over to a specific file and then x render will set it for you x render will change it for you so that's a very neat trick if you know that it exists so it will work close without saving what save it will uh, work for you and it's if you want to skip all the technicality and by technicality I mean go to your terminal and then actually start typing a render or x render better x render and then asking mate uh, sorry uh, man x render or x render dash dash help and stuff like that figure it out yourself a render just makes your script and just copy paste over so I could try for the last time a full screen now since I have a 1080 and uh, 1920 on 1080 everything looks awesome my whole screen is filled in and I can try out this uh, particular um, well desktop and see if it to my liking change stuff learn stuff have fun with it and it's all in Kimu. all right so that's um, the end for me that's how you change it we have here a button send key combination we have this button leave full screen I'm gonna do that and say bye